The documentary film Lake of Fire provided a startling insight into this simple truth, as well as the mental gymnastics people who support abortion have to undergo to deny it. Famed attorney, liberal activist, and abortion supporter Alan Dershowitz. I'll never forget the time when I saw the uh, first pictures of my little daughter and was told by the, the, the doctor that, you know, she was kind of reaching for the needle as the uh, 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 injection had, had come in because she was being uh, given an amniocytesis. <clears throat> for me, that was a live human being. I regarded my child as live and a person, certainly from this third month or so. But that's because we had made a firm decision that this child was going to be brought into the world. I don't know how I would feel about a three-month-old fetus who the mother said is going to be terminated. Would I think of it as a human being at that point? Uh, this, these, are, these are the hardest questions. These are so according to this so-called logic, one that plays a big part in the abortion on demand movement, an in utero person doesn't really exist until her parents recognize her personhood and want her to exist. Talk about man playing God. One of the abortionists who works for Dr. Pentagraph, his name is Randall Whitney, uh, told me when I asked him about the fact that the babies are human and that they're moving, when he pulls them out, he happens to do a different kind of a later term abortion where he dismembers them while they're alive, but they don't come out whole. And when I referred to the fact that they were moving while he was dismembering them and they were alive, he looked at me incredulous and he said, Patty, the whole purpose of an abortion is to kill the fetus. He thought I was being foolish and ignorant uh, and naive to think that abortion was anything less. If an abortionist is going to do an abortion, he knows he's going to kill a living child. So it seemed foolish to him that I would suggest that it would be anything less. The humanity of the child is really not in question any longer used to be when I started to reach out to women who were pregnant about 15 years ago that a lot of the women seemed to be under the impression that uh, they weren't carrying a child but they were carrying a group of cells or something that hadn't turned into a child yet. But now the jig is up. We know these little ones in the womb are children. We can see them with ultrasound, especially now with the 3 and 4D ultrasound. And certainly on websites of very known abortionists such as George Tiller in Kansas, he provides uh, actually very beautiful images of children through all nine months of pregnancy. So the mothers whose babies he murders are confronted with exactly what they're doing and what he's helping them do. Back to the in utero John being filled with the Holy Spirit. We can also see a surprising degree of sentience here on his part. John leapt because he recognized and understood at some deep pre-rational level the presence of Mary and Jesus, a fact that modern neonatologists now recognize from a developmental perspective. In utero children are far more aware of the world both inside and outside the womb than we would have ever imagined, making abortion an even greater abomination. Lastly, note again what Elizabeth said to Mary. And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Elizabeth didn't say future mother or mother of the one who will one day be my Lord. Everything was emphatically present tense. Mary was a mother, with child is the common expression, and the Lord Jesus Christ was as fully present at that moment as he was when the Apostle Thomas said almost the same words as he beheld the wounds of the resurrected Christ. My Lord and my God. And there are other verses in Scripture that make the full humanity of the preborn child just as clear. For thou didst form my inward parts, thou didst weave me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 
Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. The Lord who made you and formed you in the womb. According to Scripture, abortion is a sin against God, a violation of the Sixth Commandment, you shall not murder. It is the wanton killing of innocent human life in the womb, a place designed by God to be a refuge of life and mercy. And that is precisely why in the Didache, a pastoral manual that represents the early church's understanding and practice concerning everything from baptism to the Eucharist, clearly stated, Thou shalt not procure abortion, nor commit infanticide.